Loving it. I just hit buttons and just bring off of the earth. Hey lovelies, it's Corey, your physical therapist and trainer, and welcome back to my channel for another amazing workout. And today is day two of our 630 hip and pelvic mobility strengthening and flexibility mini series. And today's mini challenge move is a strengthening move targeting the glutes and the hip abductors mainly. We'll be on our side for this one. We'll be doing a knee tuck with leg lifts and hip internal and external rotation. We'll do 60 seconds on each leg and all you need for this one is a nice soft surface to work on. So if you have your mats at home, go ahead and roll those babies out. If not, feel free to work on your carpet or however you have on hand and if you'd like to make this move a little bit more challenging go ahead and grab a resistance band that is about a light to moderate resistance for you follow along to the tips i give along the way and if this move is too challenging for you follow along to the modified versions i give in the corner of the screen wherever they may appear as well and without further ado let's get into it if you'll be using a resistance band just go ahead and slip that baby on before we begin you can go ahead and just get it around both legs just above the knees and take your time lying on your right side just lower 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 onto the mat you can have your head resting in your right hand just like this or just go ahead and turn the palm over so it's facing the ceiling and just go ahead and rest your hand in your palm right there. If that's more comfortable for you, just keep the shoulders nice and relaxed before we begin and keep those shoulders in line with that imaginary line with or back and or hips. Don't let the hips rock back. Don't let them rock forward. Just keep that invisible line nice and secure. You're gonna go ahead and keep the toes and the knees facing forward of both legs. You can go ahead if you like, if that's more comfortable for you and it helps more with your balance, you can go ahead and get that top left leg slightly in front of that right leg as well. You're gonna go ahead and keep the hips and the chest facing forward. And if you need more help with your balance and make sure we're not rocking to the sides too much, go ahead and take your left hand Place it slightly in front of your chest on the mat and just spread the fingers of that hand on the mat so we have our weight being distributed evenly through that entire hand and not straining that wrist joint. I'm gonna go ahead here with that left leg. I'm gonna point the toes as we tuck that knee up toward the chest as high as you can bring it. Then we're gonna lower, straightening that leg yet again. Then flex that ankle and keeping that knee and the toes facing forward, you're gonna lift straight up really engaging the glutes and engaging those hip abductors. And as we come back down here, we're gonna take our time rotating hip in and out. So we're gonna keep that going, 60 seconds on the clock. Let's go, point the toes and tuck, down, flex the ankle, up, down, and rotate, rotate, point the toes and tuck, down, flex the ankle, up, down and rotate, rotate, point the toes and tuck, down, flex the ankle, up, down and rotate, rotate, go again, point the toes, tuck, knee up, straighten, flex the ankle, leg directly up towards the sky, and as we lower, gonna go ahead, turn that hip out, tap that heel on the mat if that helps, and then turn it in, tapping the toes on the mat. Point the toes, knee tuck, straighten, flex the ankle, up, down, rotate out, heel to mat, rotate in, toes to mat. Point the toes, tuck, wow, keep it going, flex the ankle, up, awesome job, relax, and out, in. Point the toes, knee tuck, Whew, flex the ankle, up, <laughs> heel, and toe. Awesome job, relax it here. And we're gonna take our time now going over to that other leg. Our brain's melting, leg. <laughs> All right, lower onto that left side. You can go ahead and get your hand resting in that left palm, whether the hand is directly on the mat. You can go ahead and have your elbow propped up, just resting on the forearm, head in your hand, whatever is more comfortable for you. Just check those shoulders again, roll them back and down, relaxing the shoulder joints, not squeezing those neck muscles, and keep the shoulders, the back and the hip in line. You can go ahead and have the toes and the knees facing forward, hips facing forward, chest facing forward. You can go ahead and have that top right leg slightly in front of that left leg, or if you need even more support, go ahead and bend that bottom left knee, whatever's more comfortable for you. Right hand in front of the chest on the mat, spread the fingers, and we go. Point the toes, and up, straighten, flex the ankle, up, and rotate out, heel to mat, and in, toes to mat. 
point the toes, knee, flex ankle, hip, whew, rotate out, heel to mat, and toes to mat. Point the toes, knee tuck, awesome job, flex the ankle, and up, rotate out, rotate in, awesome. Point the toes, knee tuck, flex the ankle, try not to let the hip shift out of line with your shoulders, keep that going. Point the toes, knee tuck, Whew, flex the ankle and up. Awesome, rotate, rotate. Point the toes, good job. Nice and controlled, flex ankle, up and out. In, one more. Knee tuck, flex the ankle, up, rotate, out, in, Whew. Awesome job, awesome job. We did it and that was proof, ladies and gentlemen, that a lot can happen in 60 seconds. We did it. Thank you so much for joining me today for our mini strength challenge and stick around for tomorrow. We have another mini mobility flow for day three with our high lunge to low lunge. Well, before you go, don't forget to give this video a big, beautiful thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell right over there so you can see when I post a new video as soon as I post them just for you. Don't forget to also join my Patreon so you can get any early access to the rest of my videos and also get behind some footage, blueprints, exclusive content, and so much more. Don't forget to also leave a comment down below to tell me what you loved about this workout, what else you would love to see, and just share with your friends so they may join you on this fantastic fitness adventure. Don't forget to also follow my socials to keep up to date with latest tips and videos of everything else we have in store for you. And keep following along to our schedule guide for this amazing 630 mini series. And if you missed any moves so far, go ahead and check out our 630 mini series playlist right over there. And don't forget, always love your body, have fun with your fitness, and I'll see you in the next amazing workout. Bye. Awesome. Oh. <laughs>